Well, here it is, folks. Friday the 13th. And it's 1 o'clock. That makes it the 13th hour of our 13th episode. So before we get started doing anything that we're going to regret, I had to check with our leading authorities on all this Friday the 13th spooky, superstitious stuff. Scooching daddy. They assured me, no problem, go to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get to it. You guys heard me talk about this headliner. Well, I got it in the mail. Um, 
I pretty much expected it to be some kind of a fiber board, whatever. Uh, but this is what you're going to get. I'm not complaining because it is what it is. But just so you guys know, if you're going to order one of these, you'll find them online uh, for like, I don't know, I think it's 40 to 47 gear truck, Chevy truck. It's just a heavy cardboard. Um, kind of flimsy. If I must be honest about it, you can get it in a couple different colors. This is kind of like a stamped gray, and I'm not sure if it's painted on there or whatever. But I tried to fit it in, and it's definitely going to need somebody to help you because it's it's kind of flimsy, and if it bends, I think you're going to be screwed. I think you're going to have to start over if it bends. So I paid 50 bucks for this, $20 to ship it. So you're looking at 70 bucks for what basically is two pieces of cardboard. Like I said, I'm not complaining because I kind of expected something like this. But just so you guys know that I'm probably thinking that I probably should have made a pattern out of cardboard myself and just made something because what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to use these as a pattern to put it on something heavier. I, I don't know, I gotta shop around and see what I can find. I don't think this is what I'm going to be looking for because I'm thinking if you get any kind of condensation in that cab and it gets this cardboard wet, uh, it's gonna probably bubble and start waving and stuff like that. So just be aware of what you're buying. I just wanted to share that. And if there's an upside to this, made in the US, one of the few things that aren't made in China, so I'm kind of glad for that. I'm glad to see that. Put that way. So just be aware of what you're buying. That's all. Well, after my initial sand out, I had to go back and hit a few areas with some Bondo again. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to hit all the Bondo areas with 120 grit. I'm going to do the entire truck with 220 grit, and then we're going to wet sander with 400. Then we should be ready to throw some paint on it. All right, so we got through Friday the 13th without any major catastrophes. Had to do a lot more of uh, Bondo work. 
there's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. I mean, it just wasn't uh, smoothing out the way I wanted it to. A few spots here and there, but they're looking pretty good. Got all the dents out. Got the inside of our cab. The rust all ground out of there. Shot it with some uh, rust reformer. We got the back looking pretty good. It's turning out really nice. And I think, I think we're probably gonna go with no bumper on this. It's starting to look really good. Um, but yet to be seen once we get it outside, uh, which he looks like. But I'm kind of liking the way it looks here. If we don't get the spray gun out this week, maybe we'll jump on the engine, start to tear it down, and uh, do some things with that. So we have a little bit of work to do on the transmission. Shifter linkage is actually backwards, so park is all the way down. And it'll be reverse neutral drive. So what I think we need to do is to take that shift linkage off, do a 180 with it, and see if we can't get it orientated in the right position so we can put park up here where it belongs, and then neutral drive. So that's one thing we got to take care of. Plus, I, I got uh, a new uh, filter for it. So we'll change the filter, transmission fluid, but not, that's something we can do if we don't get painting this week. Primary in black because it's going to make the blue that much darker, I think. Um, that's why I'm doing it in black. It does make the body work a little more difficult, but I think in the end, uh, we're just about there. Every day we get a little bit closer, so um, I don't want to rush it. I was hoping to have the paint gun out today. Uh, that did not happen. I'm not sure it's going to happen tomorrow either. There's still a lot more little details to do and we'll see what she looks like tomorrow after I sand her out. And uh, If we have to go into next week, I guess we might have to go into next week, but we're going to get it. Well, we weren't able to get her all painted today, but we got her jammed in. It's laying out pretty good, I think. 
nice and sparkly. Oh yeah, she's gonna be nice. I didn't dare shoot it today. It's kind of chilly today and rainy. I probably shouldn't even have done what I did, but I wanted to get a jump on this. There was a lot more touch-ups to do, as you can see, on the box. We had to get the body buddy out, filling all the little cracks and whatnot. But um, again, I say this is not a show truck. This is my truck, so. I'm not shooting for perfection here, but we're just going to make her look a lot better than she did, that's all. Um, I do have a heater in here. It's not something I can use while I'm painting, so maybe we'll turn around in the morning, bring the temperature up in here, and then shoot. But we're going to have to shut it off when we spray uh, with torpedo type propane. I, I went through yesterday and uh, got the garden hose out and hosed the whole floor down, got all the dust out. The paint's laying out pretty decently. Like I said, it's a little chilly in here today. I'm going to turn that on now and dry this up a little bit. But tomorrow we can just concentrate on the exterior of this. We don't have to worry about jamming it or anything. So that's what we're going to do uh, tomorrow morning. All right, well, it is the next morning. And it's just slightly warmer than it was yesterday. But I got the garage all warmed up. So I think we're ready to do this. We got our uh, cobalt fire mist blue metallic single stage. We're going eight parts paint, one part hardener. This one doesn't call for a reducer, so that's our mixture right there. Let's take a quick run through the garage and I'll show you what we're going to be spraying out. Okay, so we got the two fenders prepped, ready to go. We got our valance, which I know I paid it once before, but we had a little bit of a mishap with it, so we're gonna just shoot it again. We got our battery box, a little emblem, Chevrolet emblem, and our steering column plate. It is about 68 degrees in here, so I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna go in there, and mix up some paint, and we'll be shooting.
galley, Miss Molly, ain't she the devil with the blue dress on? Woo. It's amazing to see how much body work you missed when you put a gloss color on. I think it looks pretty good, actually. I mean, it laid out pretty good. It's a single stage. It's got a gloss clear in it, so we can cut and buff this. Fender turned out pretty good, but I had a few uh, paint drips, I guess we'd call it, come out of the top of the gun. Ventilation cap. I'm not sure what happened. I think I had the gun upside down too much. And we got a few drips, but we'll just we'll wet sand them out. We'll buff it. All in all, I think she turned out pretty good. So that's going to be a wrap for this week. Next week, um, we're going to get the fenders on here. And I'm going to see if we can get the dash in. Uh, maybe uh, start running some wire. Who knows? But until next week, take it easy, man.